Uh, hello, this is Tola from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to render out uh, your scenes in Blender uh, more efficiently. Um, usually when you have a scene done and you want to render it out and see how it looks or animate it, it takes a pretty long time to render. And that's the same case with all 3D based uh, software that always takes a long time to render. Now in uh, Blender, you have the Blender internal render engine which renders out a little bit faster than cycles but it doesn't give you realistic looking renders cycles are, is a lot better much much better uh, but with cycles it takes uh, takes some time and right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to render out this scene with uh, the basic settings that are found in the render panel I'm not changing anything just uh, living it the same and um, rendering with 256 samples um, and also the specs on my PC or my laptop. I'm using an Intel HD graphics card on here, and it's got uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. So I mean, it gets the job done. But I'm going to render this out and uh, let you guys see the results of the render and how long it took. I'm going to pause the recording. It's going to take a while. Okay, now we're back. Uh, let me pull up uh, the render so you can see how long it took. Okay, so this took 36 minutes and 28 seconds to render just this image. Uh, that's all. This it's quite that's a long time. Uh, so now I'm going to show you the uh, changes you can make to your in your render panel in order to speed up the renders. Now the main thing we're going to do is change the light path settings. So we're going to, because uh, this actually is what causes your renders to take quite a long time. So we're going to change the bounces uh, to 4 from 12. We're going to turn the minimum to 0. And the diffusing gloss, we're going to keep those at 4. The transmission, we're going to change that to 4. And we're going to go to the transparency and turn the maximum transparency to 4 and then uh, change the minimum to 0 now you could turn off the reflective caustics and refractive caustics if you want uh, but uh, when you do that that actually makes if you have like glass in your image any kind of glass paneling or glass uh, objects in your image uh, that would actually make your images or those glass uh, materials really really dark and it doesn't really look that good, so I just leave those on. And another thing we're going to do is go into File, uh, User Preferences, and we're going to uh, activate the Auto Tile Size. What this will do when we click it is it's going to automatically um, choose for you or for your file uh, the best tile size for best rendering options which is you can tell this right here it automatically does that automatically that makes the tile size 32 32 and another thing that's going to help is if you have a very strong and powerful graphics card what you need to do is go up here and turn this from CPU to GPU compute now for my laptop it's been grayed out because of the fact that this does not have uh, a very strong graphics card uh, but on my PC I have a uh, um, GTX uh, 1050 Ti, which is pretty pretty good. I just uh, pretty much uh, topped off the specs on my PC, so it runs a lot faster. And now with these settings, you can you will render it, but you can also do one more thing. If you have denoise, which you know, if you turn on denoise in your uh, Blender window under, that's going to be under the um, the render layers, denoising, I've turned that on. You can actually start, all these have been activated because I need all these to render this scene properly. But if you don't have uh, glossy images in your scene, you can turn it off. Or transmissions, you can also turn it off. And that's going to actually speed up your renders also. But uh, I'm going to leave all these settings on for denoising because I need all of it to be denoised. All the diffuse, all the glossy, all the transmissions, all the subsurface scattering, I need all that to be denoised. And, um, uh, noise free. So I'm going to render out this scene with the new settings and it's going to take, it's going to be a lot faster. I'm still going to pause the recording so uh, you don't have to sit through all that.
I'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. And let's see how long that took. Okay, we're going to go down here. This took 6 minutes and 14 seconds to uh, render. So that made a huge, huge difference. So we're talking about uh, a time of 36, sec 36 minutes, 28 seconds, with all the settings in, in Blender still the same, all the light paths still the same, the uh, auto tile not activated, took 36 minutes. With those settings changed, it took 6 minutes and 14 seconds to render. So that's a huge, huge difference. So that's today's uh, quick tip um, on how to speed up your renders in Blender. Uh, as I mentioned, as a uh, conclusion or overview of what we, w we looked over, turn on your GPU on your PC or your laptop if you have a strong graphics card. Um, change your settings and your light path, the bounces. Best way you can remember is just 4044040 and activates your uh, auto tile size through the user preference. Uh, under your file manager and that's going to speed up your renders and if you want it to be sped up a little bit faster a little bit more if you need to uh, adjust the noising settings you can do that also but uh, as I've mentioned I try to leave those on because you know you know you never know when you're going to need those in your scene to be uh, rendered all right so that's today's quick tip and um, thank you guys for listening and watching and I hope this helped someone and uh, you guys have a great day and see you on the next one all right bye